Hello, hello. This is the English teacher Walid Khalid. In this video, we'll just do a little bit of exercise for listening. And stimulating your listening skills is one of the essential, quintessential elements of excelling in that darn IELTS test. So, in order to do so, we'll do a little bit of training for that. This training is dedicated for the intermediate and higher level of English uh, learners because the elementary levels just go and do some conversation training first because that will help you. Now, the training that I'm shooting for today is going to be very simple. Uh, what you do here, uh, what you do see here, uh, this is a simple exercise for IELTS. And this, um, in this exercise, you just need to listen and follow up the instructions of the speaker. Now, you're listening to the instructions, you need to jot down the answers. I mentioned that in the previous uh, uh, video that's dedicated for the IELTS listening, but this is in, uh, in addition to it, just to further your training of the IELTS test. It's very simple, it's straightforward, but it takes a little bit of attention. So you need to train yourself. I'm dedicating the second part of this video for that purpose. What you just need to do is uh, watch me talking and then when the uh, when the video is over there's another section with a time what you need to do is to fill in the answers and the time uh, allocated and uh, assigned to you to do the uh, answers in and the next part you'll see a diagram or you'll see a map and you'll need to listen and while you're listening you need to take down the answers so for example uh, question one the answer is D question two the answer is B now you'll see the points uh, mentioned in the chart what you need just to do pay attention to that careful instructions by the speaker that you'll be listening to try to isolate yourself from any distractions or surrounding um, you know noise to focus more on the listening and then you'll ace it good luck and in this part I'll do multiple parts that have to do with listening test one you will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section 1. You will hear a conversation between a clerk at the inquiry's desk of a transport company and a man who is asking for travel information. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning, Travel Link. How can I help you? Good morning. I live in Bayswater and I'd like to get to Harbour City tomorrow before 11am. Well, to get to Bayswater... No, no, I live in Bayswater. My destination is Harbour City. Oh, sorry, right. So that's Bayswater to Harbour City. Are you planning to travel by bus or train? The man wants to go to Harbour City. So, Harbour City has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Good morning, Travel Link. How can I help you? Good morning. I live in Bayswater and I'd like to get to Harbour City tomorrow before 11am. Well, to get to Bayswater... No, no, I live in Bayswater. My destination is Harbour City. Oh, sorry. Right, so that's Bayswater to Harbour City. Are you planning to travel by bus or train? I don't mind, really. Whichever option is faster, I suppose. Well, if you catch a railway express, that'll get you there in under an hour. Let's see. Yes, if you can make the 9.30am express, I'd recommend you do that. Great. Which station does that leave from? Hellendale is the nearest train station to you. Did you say Helensvale? No, Hellendale. That's H-E-L-E-N-D-A-L-E. -E -E. What's the best way to get to the Hellendale station, then? Well, hang on a minute while I look into that. Now, it seems to me that you have two options. Option one would be to take the 706 bus from the Bayswater Shopping Centre to Central Street, 
When you get there, you transfer to another bus which will take you to the station. Or the second option, if you don't mind walking a couple of kilometres, is to go directly to Central Street and get straight on the bus going to the train station. OK, which bus is that? The 792 will take you to the station. I guess the walk will be good for me, so that might be the better option. What time do I catch the 792? There are two buses that should get you to the station on time, one just before nine o'clock and one just after. But, look, at that time of the morning, it might be better to take the earlier one, just in case there's a traffic jam or something. The 855 is probably safer than the 905. Yeah, I don't want to miss the train, so I'll be sure to get on the 5 to 9 bus. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. By the way, how much will I have to pay in fares? Well, you can get a ticket on the bus for $1.80 cash and you'll need $10 each way for the train. Wait, do you have a travel link card? No, but I can get one before tomorrow. OK, well that'll make it considerably cheaper then. The bus will cost $1.50 each way and the train will be... The train to Harbour City will still cost $10 because you'll be travelling during peak hours in the morning. So no savings there, I'm afraid. However, if you could come back at an off-peak time... What does that mean? Well, if you could start your return journey before 5pm or later than half past seven in the evening... Actually, I wasn't planning on coming back till at least eight o'clock anyway. Oh, in that case, you can make quite a saving if you use your travel link card. You did say you were planning to purchase one, didn't you? Yes, I'll pick one up later today. Good. That would mean your return train journey would only cost you $7.15 with your card. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Actually, there is. Do you know if I can use the travel link card on ferries? If you're thinking of the Harbour City ferries that go back and forth between the North and South Bank, those are the commuter ferries, then yes. A one-way trip costs $4.50, but with your card you'd make a 20% saving and only pay $3.55. So $3.55 for the commuter ferry. What about the tour boats? You mean the tourist ferries that go upriver on sightseeing tours? No, they only take cash or credit card. They're not part of the Travel Link company. Oh, I see. I don't suppose you know the cost of a tour? In actual fact, I do, because I took a friend on the trip upriver just last week. We decided on the afternoon tour, and that was $35 each, but I understand that you can do the whole day for $65. Thank you. You've been a great help. My pleasure. Enjoy your day out. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2.